Hello, I'm Mr. Howard, and in this video we will be looking at loops and if statements. This is a very basic video uh, for Scratch, but it will give you the basics so that you can then explore and use trial and error to apply loops and if statements in your code within Scratch to learn. And the principles of loops and if statements are the same in Scratch as they are in text-based languages that you will get to later, like Python and Java. So let's go through the two purposes of these two topics. The purpose of a loop is to repeat an action and you'll see it helps us accomplish our goals in a more efficient manner and we'll illustrate that in a moment. And then the purpose of an if statement is to allow the code to perform an action if a condition is met. So that allows us control within our code so that we can control when certain actions in the code occur and when they don't. So let's look at this example. Get rid of that. So I've got some code here and when I click, I've already done this, when I click to start the code, the pin's going to go down and our dog here, move him over a little bit, it's going to move 90 steps, turn 90 degrees, wait one second, move 90 steps, and turn, move, turn, move, turn, and make a square on the screen. And if that is our goal, then this code will accomplish it. And it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 pieces of code to get that done. And when I click, there it is. We have a square on the screen so we've accomplished our goal and that's fine it took us 12 steps to do it so let's apply a loop the purpose of a loop is to repeat an action so this is a perfect opportunity where a loop can be used to make our code more efficient so you if you look here at the code the move 90 steps the turn the weight all of that is repeating over and over again so if we go to control and we use our repeat loop, we can simplify this, we can make the code more efficient. So we have a repeat until uh, right here, we have a forever loop, and we have a repeat a certain number of times loop. So every time in Scratch you see this arrow that is signifying a loop. So I'm going to use the repeat a certain number of times because we're going to repeat this four times. One once for each side of the square. So I'm going to clear out to the square we've already made. Okay, we'll bring in our when clicked here. So when clicked, we want to repeat, and in this case, we want to repeat four times. I'm going to move this down and move that down just for a moment and duplicate that, drop that into my code block bring my pin. I don't need to, I could make the pin uh, repeat being pressed down four times, but it doesn't matter. That That's not going to change anything in this case. So let's put that back together like it was. Okay, so let's look at our uh, code now with the loop. So our goal is again to put a square on the screen with our dog and have him move and rotate. So now if I click this, same thing happens. Only now we use one, two, three, four, five. We only had five pieces of code to get the same job done. So you can see visually here, there's a lot more, a lot more to do here, a lot more pieces of code to put in to get the same job done as the loop is more efficient as you can clearly see. All right, let's clear that out, and now let's look at our last topic. So again, we've just gone over the loop. The purpose of a loop is to repeat an action. Anytime you need your code to do something repeatedly, a loop is the way to go. The purpose of an if statement is to allow the code to perform an action if a condition is met. So let's work with a if statement. So within Scratch, you have two if statement types. You have a if a condition is met, then do something and you have this one which is called an if else statement. If a condition is met, then do something else. So in other words, if that condition is not met, then, then do something else. In this case, 
I encourage you to play with the if-else statements and work with those in your code and you'll have an opportunity to do that but for this sake of this video we're just going to use the if statement so we'll start like we usually do with an event to get it started which is when I click the flag there and if a condition is true then is if a condition is met then perform the action that I want so I need some type of condition to check for so I'm going to use uh, this one right here when a key is pressed in this case the spacebar so once the code starts it's going to look at this if statement and if the spacebar is pressed then it's going to do whatever I put in this block so let's make it simple it's good visually to see it drawing a line so we'll do pin down and then motion will move a certain number of steps we'll do we'll just stick with the 90 steps sounds good okay so if I click this code if the space bar is not pressed which I'm not going to press it let's see what happens so codes running codes running codes running nothing is happening because the space bar is not pressed however if I hold down the space bar and then I send it into my if statement so the space bar is pressed then it allows the pin to go down and for the dog to move 90 steps. So run it again with the space bar pressed, run it again with the space bar pressed, and now it's actually doing what I want it to do. So let's clear that out. Let's move our dog back. Holding down the space bar, it works. I'm clicking, clicking, clicking without the space bar, nothing happens. So if and only if the space bar is pressed, then it allows the code to run. Alright, let's summarize here. So the purpose of a loop is to repeat an action. The purpose of a loop is to repeat an action. And that's whether you're in Scratch or Python or you're working with Java. It doesn't matter. That's the purpose of a loop. The purpose of an if statement is to allow the code to perform an action if a condition is met. So the if statements give us control within our code. Without control of our code, utter chaos happens. The if statements give us that control to determine when our code is allowed to do certain things and when it's not and when we want it to do one thing and if that's not the case then we want it to do something else and if else statement would be the way to go so that is the ba those are the basics of loops and if statements in scratch